Up to the cheekbone there over a left hand from Valdez. Again, Briscoe bleeding some from the nose. No apparent serious damage thus far. One thing we expected to see, Valdez trying to perhaps protect his eyes. He cuts over the eyes, has before, particularly over the left one, and one would expect Briscoe would be working there, Chico. Yes, but it doesn't appear that Valdez is concerned about his eyes. He's just throwing leather right now. He did it round three. Well, they say the greatest defense is an offense, and that is very true. <laughs> 30 seconds remaining, round four. <laughs> Referee is Wally Tom from Great Britain. This is outside Liverpool. Valdez is now becoming the aggressor. Moving in on, on Briscoe. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Combination near the end of the round from Valdez. Valdez has been the more effective puncher in the first four rounds as we see it here at ringside. Briscoe continues to come straight ahead, throwing hooks primarily. He'll give you the odd right-hand lead, too, won't he, Chico? Yes, he will. As a matter of fact, he seems to be picking up the pace a little bit. He's fought a very slow fight. He's got to carry the fight to Valdez and get him in an exchange. And uh, if he lets Valdez, Valdez keep off of him, he's just not going to win the fight. Benny Briscoe from Philadelphia. Everyone asks about the Jewish star on his trunks. He is not Jewish. He says he started wearing it before the Tony Mundine fight a few years ago, as primarily as a good luck charm, a, a symbol different from that of other black athletes and black fighters at the time. He also shaved his head for that purpose. So if you're wondering about it, that's the answer. He is a Georgia Baptist, and the church he goes to in Philadelphia is a former synagogue. That's where he got the idea to wear the Jewish star. Two jabs, nice jabs by Briscoe. Good left jab. Starting to reach him. Those were the first we've seen, uh, long ones that landed. The left hook from Valdez, and it was partially blocked. Right hook to the body from Valdez. Watching these fighters train all week, they both appear to be in peak condition. Briscoe again getting the jab out there. Did not have that much snap on it, Chico, but it's landing. Both in 157 and a half. Um, Valdez has an inch on Briscoe at 5'9. Being warned for a low blow, and he saw Benny pull away from it. It did appear to be low. The referee, Wally Tom, warned to Valdez. It did not appear to be intentional, just a, a left hook that landed low. Blood from the nose of Benny Briscoe. That originated in round three. We're under 30 seconds here in round five. Left hook scoring to the ear of Briscoe. Valdez is throwing some very nice combinations. Most of them are missing, but some are getting in, and I get, I, they may begin to tell a toll in the next few rounds. We're in the closing seconds of round number five. <laughs> looking into the corner of Benny Briscoe, George Benton is trainer looking on. We've gone five so far in this scheduled 15 round fight. How do you see it, Chico? Valdez has an edge. I have three, three, two, perhaps three, one even. We they talked about the bloody nose suffered by Briscoe in round three, and there, just moments ago, you saw George Benton, his trainer, working under his right eye as well. Valdez looks confident as we open round six. Rodrigo Valdez from Cartagena, Colombia. Valdez is virtually unmarked. Uh, yeah. 
Valdez frustrated in two title fights with Carlos Monzon. Monzon retiring after that fight July 30th in Monte Carlo. Valdez sees his opportunity here tonight. Benny Briscoe perhaps looking at it even more seriously with the view that maybe this is his last opportunity. He's 34. At the end of this round, six will be going away for a station break, alerting our stations along the way. The fight's moving at a rather slow pace. The left hook tag Briscoe, but did not have a whole lot on it. Any surprises for you, Chico, so far? I'm surprised because I, I thought Briscoe would be much more aggressive, much more authoritative in his punching, but he's a little lackadaisical. Unless he's just playing coy, trying to set up Valdez for a power punch or a flurry of power punches. These are two very cagey veterans. They know what it's all about. They've been there before. Risco on his last fight won a knockout over Sammy Barr. That was back in July. Good exchange in the middle of the ring. Punch is taken primarily on the arms, but they were thrown with power. Nice combination, nice exchange by Briscoe. Short right just raised the chin of Valdez and he got his arm up to ward off most of the impact. Valdez and White, Frisco and Red. We're under 30 seconds in round six. Benny has to go 15 rounds. He may just be conserving his energy for the initial opening rounds. And we'll be back with more from Campione d'Italia after this word from your local station. <laughs> Rodrigo Valdez and Benny Briscoe for the World Middleweight Championship. Tim Ryan and Chico Vijar describing the action on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Again, identifying the fighters for you. Valdez now on the right in white trunks. The shaved head of Benny Briscoe on the attack right now in the red trunks. Briscoe's got him out on offense. Third meeting between these two fighters. The decision going to Valdez. A seventh round knockout going to Valdez after Briscoe had Valdez in trouble back in 1974. That fight giving Valdez the WBC championship. Tonight, it's undisputed. WBA and WBC both on the line. Their representatives here tonight, Barney Shankman from Washington, D.C., the international legal advisor to the World Boxing Association. Fernand Leclerc from Paris, France, president of the European Boxing Union, representing the World Boxing Council. <laughs> They're here to make it all official. There'll be a new champion tonight, one way or another. Now, Briscoe just pulling Valdez into the ropes as he evidently objected to a tactic of Valdez, and Benny looks a little tired to me. I think that's an expression of Benny Briscoe's frustration. Maybe we uh, misread frustration for fatigue, but it does look a little tired. Fatigue for frustration, I should say. They haven't moved at fast enough pace to be tired. We're only in round seven of a scheduled 15. Valdez missing as Cisco covered up well. Valdez doing a nice job of keeping him off balance, moving from left to right, keeping out of position. Valdez on the offensive, landed to the ear. Crossing his right hand over that low left hand of Briscoe. 
Chico, you pointed out as we watch these fighters in training camp that Briscoe keeps his left jab low, brings it back low after he throws it as well. Much too low. Less than 30 seconds remaining in round seven. He caught him with it. Fortunately for Benny Bisco, he was backing up at the time the blow landed. Time winding down in round seven. play of some action in that eighth round that are up there a symbol of Italian television uses Chico well let's see what we've got here oh, Frisco is having trouble this round he's got hit with some beautiful